Hello, Flosstube. Greetings. I'm Laura. I'm Joe. Welcome to the Silva Farm. This is the farm where we grow cross stitch. One stitch at a time. Today is Monday, August 14th. How was everybody's week? Ours was good. Ours was good. Busy, but good. Mm -hmm. Life is always busy. Nothing exciting to talk about. Well, a uh, little PSA out there. If you ever have one of your headlights turn off, replace the bulb, but it still doesn't turn on, and your blinker mess up, check your ground. Back into a, back into a curb. You can figure out this ground real quick. Yeah, somebody managed to jostle the ground in a way that actually caused half the... I didn't even, like, hit the curb that hard. Which is what's <laughs> even funnier. Hey, honey, it's actually the fact that you made the car move in a way it's not normally intended to move. Yes. This is true. So, busy week, but uneventful. So we don't have much to talk about. Okay. <sighs> Too busy. Too busy, yeah. Well, why don't we shout out our commenters so we can keep this train moving. Okay, so this is... Sarah. Sarah. Junebug. Okay, that's just Junebug. Morty. Andy. Uh, thank you. I think he's a lot, I guess. Deep Girl Stitches. Hey, Chef. <laughs> Hi, Faja, <laughs> Bridget, and Susie Scott. Yes. Thank and uh, all specialty stitches except half. <laughs> yes. That made me laugh. Yes, about specialty stitches. And only one person guessed what my favorite Jane Austen movie was. We'll get to that. I will tell you more you were wrong. Well, not Mansfield Park. But that's a good guess, because that's a good one. Guess let's move on to whips. Okay. Whips. Um, between emergency car repairs and having to go to work yesterday. Yes, today is Monday. Yes, yesterday was Sunday. Yes, I had to drive to work. I had no time for stitching. Yes. And I don't think tonight, this week's looking any better. No, no. You realize we only have a month until guilt show, right? I know. I'm probably just going to try to force myself to do it this week at some point. Mm -hmm. Try. Well, just say it. <laughs> Get that out of the way. Jane Austen week. Find the pages because I. Can I ask a question without being old. called an evil person because I don't know? What? Who's Shane Austin? I read this last week. Um, she was an author who lived in Georgian England. Georgian period in England. Okay, yeah, no, I got. Let me rephrase that. <clears throat> I'm not familiar with any of her work. Pride and Prejudice. Okay, that's why you like her so much. Okay. Sense and Sensibility. Mansfield Park. Nope and nope. Okay. I was going to say, Pride and Prejudice is probably the one you know the most. And all I know is the title. It's actually not so much an insult of hers. It's just not my cup of tea. Uh, no. Definitely not. Uh, basically, it's a medieval chick, chick flick. Not medieval, but eighteen early 1800s. I mean, no diss to that. Not saying it's a bad story. I'm just saying I prefer things with more explosions and lasers. I mean, <sighs> at least... Not that I have anything against romance novels, but Jane Austen is romance without the booty. So there's definitely... Definitely quality writing there. No. She's what young she is what young adult fiction romance novels should be. Okay. Let's move 
let's get started. Um, I started with the Sal prompt last week. I don't have a cover photo for it. But I worked on the tail as old as time cell. I worked on this block, which is titled There's Something There That Wasn't There Before. And I did 300 stitches exactly. I actually, I just now remembered that scene in the movie. Yes. It has been, you know what, for as much as you love Beauty and the Beast, we have not seen it yet, like, together. In a while, yeah. We should probably do it this weekend for cuties. That actually seems like a good idea, sitting yes. stage while listening to Beauty and the Beast. This is on some sort of silk weaver fabric, I don't know what, I believe it is a 16 count. <laughs> That's where I'm at with it. Um, I did the prompt for something you nearly abandoned, or abandoned for a while, last week. If you're curious, go watch it. Uh, stitch on... Stitch on a pattern by a little known designer. I took out Spirit of Christmas by Sister Lou's Stitches, because not a lot of people know Sarah's designs, and they should, because they're super cute. I also stitched on this for the monthly, uh, the C, the Christmas, the C in Christmas. What, 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 what? Sarah's Sister Lou stitches? Sarah is Sister Lou, yes. I am so sorry, Sarah, I didn't know that. You actually did know that. Okay, I forgot. Okay. <laughs> Either way, I didn't know it anymore. I did 660 stitches on this, and it's still not done. Do you have the beginning photo? Oh, yeah, beginning photo. I did 666, 660 stitches on this, and it's still not done. Um, I have to finish this mousy. I think there's a little bit of her left to finish. There's a little bit of, of everything down here left to finish. It's close, though. I think one more good, solid stitching session, and we will be done. This is on... Da, 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 Sorry. This is on 28 Count Heirloom by the Slowfuck Farm. This was last year's, um... Mystery, 12 Days of Christmas Mystery chart. It was in the box. This year, I am not doing a box. Shipping delays and all that. Um, but I am doing an exclusive with Sarah Fabric. You can order the pattern and then you can order the pattern. You'll be able to order the pattern and then the kit, which is the pattern, the fabric, and the floss. I think I said that in proper English. What's proper English? Not what I speak, apparently. Don't worry, I mean proper English currently not friends. Next contestant, um, something that relates to food or drink. Well, there is pumpkins on this, and we eat pumpkins and corn. And technically, uh, birds. My brain went there, but I was like, no, I'm not going to say that because they're blackbirds and we don't really actually eat blackbirds. <laughs> I also use this for the monthly, for the H in the monthly because, hey, the scarecrow is in a bale of hay. Uh, honey, so, okay, so it's people food and cat food. stitches was to finish the stalks of corn, put in all this ground here, and start the border. You are not that far from done with this, are you? No, I'm not. It's the border and the words underneath, and then it's done. 
another one that is closing in on a finish. Yay! This is on a 32 count mistake. Yes, so it was. So no, it was absolutely a mistake. It was not supposed to look like this. It was not what I wanted. I thought no. I thought all solos were mistakes. Well, okay. I guess you could say that. <laughs> but this is nothing like what I wanted. It's nothing like what it was supposed to look like. It was nothing like what I was trying for with this die. I still have used it for two projects. Pumpkin Farm and our Harvest Hauler. So it still works. It's just, yeah, it was a mistake. Um... Can you replicate said mistake? Nope. Okay. <laughs> Absolutely not. That's the solo. Yep. <laughs> and to close out Jane Austen week. I pulled out. Shores of Hawkern Hollow as my whip of choice to stitch on while I talked about my favorite Jane Austen movie. No, it is not Mansfield Park. You might have picked up on it at the very beginning of this segment when he was asking me who Jane Austen was and I immediately popped out Pride and Prejudice. The reason he knows that is because that is my favorite movie. And the 2005 one with Matthew McFadden. Thank you very much. I have nothing against the BBC TV series one. I just like Matthew McFadden better. I think you should be insulted. I also use this for the O in the monthly because ocean. Oh Here's the before picture. And here we are, 609 stitches later. Uh, so, finished off the whale and put in these two fishies. Fishy, fishy! fishy it is kind of hard to see the fishies, they are kind of light. <coughs> I think. Yeah, I just have. Uh, well, I have a couple of little waves over here to do. And then I'm on to filling in all the water on the whale. And if you want to pull it back out again, as you may notice, I am not doing all of the blocks. I did not love all of the blocks on Shores of Hawkrun Hollow. So I just selected the blocks that have verse, the verse in them. And I am also doing the memorial block. <coughs> this block. I will be changing the name to my grandfather's name, who served in the Navy in World War II. Uh, I'm doing that one on a separate piece of fabric, though, because this lovely gray, this was Cleveland Crud before all of my dyes changed. It has changed a little bit. This is a 32 count. All right, we can put that away. Fold the flosses back in it. Um, Please and yes, thank you. that's actually why I left them out. I'll put more of them like this. Yes. Right. So on something like that, what he's what I told him to do. On something like that, I pulled out the flosses that I needed for that what I was working on, and I keep it with the fabric because there's other flosses in here for that I used in other bits of it. And I do that actually a lot. Like, I'll be working on a section of something. I'll pull the flosses out I need for that section and keep it folded in the fabric until I'm done with that. As I finish that color, I put it back with the rest of the flosses. I don't know. It's my little habit. I don't know why I do it, but I do it. All right. So that finished up Jane Austen week. So for the weekend, I worked on Olympic 28, which is 2004. Athens Olympics, which was the I mean, it was a special Olympiad because of the whole Athens connection. I can't remember now. Somebody's going to tell me and I'm going to go, duh. But I need 1,900 stitches. That is 1,900 stitches total 
of this Olympic. And we picked, Joe picked the Stamped Heart Succulent Project. Here's the before picture. And here we are, 1,362 stitches later. Now, And in case your body, you just get your butt kicked in that race. Damn, girl! I stitch in groups with people who do that in a day. Uh, I finished this succulent up here, this succulent down here, and I do believe most of this one is finished. Um, and then there's two succulents here that have a lot of, there may be three. There's, no, it's only two. There's two succulents here and here that have a lot of the same colors in them. So, I just worked color block, color, color completion, basically. And, um, it's easier to see what she's talking about when I do that. Yes. It is easier to see what I'm talking about when we do this. So as you can see, there's color completion here. If you flip it back around, as you can see up here, you know, there's a lot of the similar, very similar purples and bluey purples. So that's why this looks really crazy printed. I was explaining this on Instagram, la on Instagram last night. I explained this on Instagram last night. It looks really crazy because they need to high contrast... The, the symbols on the pattern are on the printed kit so that you know what colors go where. As you can tell by the color key over here, this is what kind of what the actual color looks like. Here's your key. These kits are really nice because legitimately all you need is this piece of fabric, your thing of threads, a needle, and some scissors, and you can stitch. You don't need a pattern to follow a pattern, really to count too much. They do provide you with a pattern, which matches this, on a glossy piece of paper. This is actually how big it is. I have blown it up for purposes of counting my stitches. And so, I really do Back like, yes, I really do like working on this. I really enjoy it. The only thing I don't enjoy <laughs> color is the, the flosses are on this thing. And I thought, well, I'll try it. I can't stand it. So I'm, I'm as I'm using colors, I'm moving them into a bag. It's my bag system. Which I should and I can reuse these little pieces of paper because I have other stamp kits. And there's a couple more that I want to buy. There's one that I've seen that I really, really, really want. It's a peacock. Oh, my gosh. When I do buy it, you all will see it. That has been my stitching for the week. I do have haul. I finally got in something that I have been waiting to get. So we will talk about that next. And here we are, 1,362 stitches later. Now, I did it. Thirty. And in case your body, you just get your butt kicked in that race. Damn, girl! I stitch in groups with people who do that in a day. Uh, I finished this succulent up here, this succulent down here, and I do believe most of this one is finished. Um, and then there's two succulents here that have a lot of, there may be three. There's, no, it's only two. There's two succulents here and here that have a lot of the same colors in them. So, I just worked color block, color, color completion, basically. And, um, it's easier to see what she's talking about when I do that. Yes. It is easier to see what I'm talking about when we do this. So, as you can see, there's color completion here. If you flip it back around, as you can see up here, you know, there's a lot of the similar, very similar purples and bluey purples. So that's why this looks really crazy printed. I was explaining this on Instagram la on Instagram last night. I explained this on Instagram last night. 
it looks really crazy because they need to high contrast the, the symbols on the pattern or on the printed kit so that you know what colors go where as you can tell by the color key over here this is what kind of what the actual color looks like here's your key these kits are really nice because legitimately all you need is this piece of fabric your thing of threads a needle and some scissors and you can stitch you don't need a pattern to follow a pattern really to count too much they do provide you with a pattern which matches this on a glossy piece of paper this is actually how big it is I have blown it up for purposes of counting my stitches and so I really do Back like put it on it? yes I really do like working on this I really enjoy it the only thing I don't enjoy <laughs> color is the, the flosses are on this thing and I thought well I'll try it I can't stand it so I'm I'm as I'm using colors I'm moving them into a bag my bag system and I can reuse these little pieces of paper because I have other stamp kits. And there's a couple more that I want to buy. There's one that I've seen that I really, really, really want. It's a peacock. Oh my gosh. When I do buy it, you all will see it. That has been my stitching for the week. I do have haul. I finally got in something that I have been waiting to get. So we will talk about that. Hall. I'm going to be killing you moved. Hall. Y'all. Okay. I have to say, Mitchell's shipping time is starting to get better. I ordered this on the 24th and it showed up today. I ordered Mirabilia's Glittering... Yes, it's called Glittering Leaves. Not a whole lot to it. Just a handful of flosses. <clears throat> I thought I had ordered this a while ago, but I had only actually ordered the, the water lilies and the beads for it. So I did get the water lilies for it. Yes, those are two different water lilies. There we go. And the frosted glass beads if it will be nice there we go cute lovely so that can go in the get fabric I have fabric and flosses. I have a bag of stuff that's like I would call pieces parts kitted. Like I have the pattern and I have either fabric for it or flosses for it without fabric or you know things that I do want to start sooner rather than later. The pile is getting bigger. We'll talk about that in a minute. But that's it. That's all of haul. I was just have been waiting for that to show up. And it showed up today. Which is starting to get better about shipping stuff, like I said. This, I ordered it on the 24th of June, July. So it hasn't even been a full month. Uh, a little over two weeks. Yeah. So hopefully they are starting to get better. Uh, the... Gloriana silks that I ordered for Circular Logic for Joe back in 2022, back in February of 2022. Both of them have finally showed up. That was, that was, we were actually having this conversation before those showed up with some friends. And I was like, please, for the love of anything, don't order Gloriana silks. They are just. I'm hoping that problem has been fixed now or is better now. Why don't we 
move on to plans and announcements. Okay. Plans and announcements. I plan on trying to survive. I'm sorry. I had a very long day today. It's not a very long day. It's going to be a long week. It's just one of those weeks where it's going to be a long week. It's a, it's a, I'm going to have a really nice paycheck. Put it that way. But it's kind of crimping on the everything time. It just it is what it is. But So I want to, at least this Saturday, if we, as long as we don't have anything planned, because I can't remember anything right now. You I, know what I have planned for this Saturday? My pool. It's going to be like 86 degrees. You want to know what I want to get? What? Perforated paper and nylon thread to do cross-stitching while in the pool. Nylon thread is a... to work with. Sorry, though. They actually have nylon thread? I was just picking something out of my butt. Yes. Beading thread is nylon thread. Because it's clear. Ew. I hate it. I hates it. I hates it. I hates it. I was just thinking something waterproof. <laughs> that was <Well>. my thought. <laughs> okay. You, dear? Okay. It is Friendship Week for Daily 30 Prompts. Um. Oh, I didn't mention this, but along with the Olympics, I did the, they did a pop-up in Daily 30 for the weekend for World Cross Today, which was on Friday. And you could double dip your Olympic with, Olympic project with that. So. Dang. <laughs> I did that and got all of the passes. It was six prompts. Nice. Nice. So for Friendship Week, I'm not going to sit here and read off all of the prompts because I just don't... That what? makes it too long. So stitch on something that represents friendship to you. I don't really know at this point what. Do you have anything with food? Or a fire. I mean, food. Okay, when I think of friendship, I think of going out to eat, gathering around a fireplace, going outside into a nice, pretty place, and hanging out. What can I say? Be it with my wife or with my friends, I think with my stomach. There you go. I, yeah, I, I, nothing in my list screams friendship to me. You did get a bunch of passes, didn't you? Oh, well, those won't apply until oh, okay. September. Okay, well, I will help you find I do more. have my free weekly pass, so I can use it for that. Uh, the next one is stitch on something that was gifted to you. Uh, scissor. Stitch. Stitch on something with something that was gifted to you, whether it be the whole thing or just part of it. Right off the top of my head, I know for a fact that Scissors and Bobbins by Jardin Privé, that was all gifted to me. And Soda Stitches Beauty and the Beast was all gifted to was The pattern and the fabric was gifted to me. I'm sure that I could probably look and go, oh yeah, this person gave me this the flosser. Would you like to know why I think this would work for this? Why? Because you're helping a friend out, finish it. You better get to keep it when I'm done. But you get my point. It's that you're helping her not throw it out. Which is what friends do. I got a little bit into this. I don't like it. Can you please finish this for me? I want to see it finished and not wasted. And you're like, okay. And that's friendship. I didn't bring my pencil over. Okay. Well, we need to stitch on something that's been gifted. I have my pen. Oh, I thought that was a highlighter. No, it's my pen. Something that's been gifted. Which one of these two? I said Beauty and the Beast. Okay. Stitch on something that you've been persuaded to start or that you have persuaded someone else to start. 
Well, since nobody starts anything that I want to with me, we'll just get through the list of things that people have asked me to start with them. Uh, Winter Solstice, Quaker Turtle, Cathedral Wood Guys, Christmas in Blue, Arctic Blast, and The Reindeer. I call bullshit. You're the reason I'm stitching this. I call bullshit. Uh, no. I was gonna... Okay, whatever. You are the reason I'm stitching it, dear. Okay. Go ahead. That's the list to pick from. Uh, Christmas in blue. Because I have no idea what that is. It's the, um... John Elliott that I started with in um, July on Crossfit Weekend. Okay. Here's where we get to something interesting. Stitch on a whip that you started for a challenge. Doesn't necessarily have to be a Daily 30 challenge. I thought, well, I don't have anything that I've started for a challenge. And then I thought, well, wait. If I start something for that prompt, wouldn't that be starting something for a challenge? Tell me I'm wrong! No! I am... Oh, okay. I am overwhelmed by your genius. Like, you should actually post that so everybody can see it. Just to see your fellow admins go, Eh, eh, eh! We forgot a sentence! And maybe they didn't. Maybe they don't. Anyways, so I've pulled out a few things that I have kitted up, but actually one of them I need to pull flosses for, but literally it's three flosses, and one of them is black. We have the cone of shame for that. That's still around after, what, a decade? Oh uh, yeah, something like that. It doesn't even look smaller! It is getting smaller. Okay. So here are our choices. Stand Tall. This is by Southern Stitches Company. I am not going to do it in the called fours because the called fours are flosses by this company. And as lovely as they are, it is black, yellow. It might be four flosses. That should tell you what I just thought. Okay, I lied. It's four flosses. It's black, an orange, a brown, and a green. And a green. Excuse me. This actually qualifies something that was gifted to me as well, because this was gifted to me by the lovely Victoria. I still haven't started it. I really should. I really want to. It's called Porch Welcome. It's... I'm not sure where she got it kitted up. It's an imaginating pattern. I can obviously get that pattern. This is Stone Street Stitchworks Fireworks on the 4th of July. I have literally had this sitting kitted up for longer than you would like me to admit. Waiting to start it. And it's not that many flosses. No, it's not. It's black, brown, blue, red. Rosewood, it would be... I don't know what rosewood would be. Oh, I forgot that was part of That was sitting there with it. Mainly because it's red, white, and blue also. I'm trying to figure out where this rosewood's at. Oh, there's two shades of red on the barn. There's a dark red and a light red. So it's literally, it's red, white, and blue. And like a, and 3371 for the roofs. Most of which is sitting in here in colors I've already picked out. And actually, I think what I decided was I was going to do the roof in these color, in this color. These two colors don't belong in there, but... And I was going to do the fireworks in metallics. 
but I think these metallics might be a little too thick because these are like a quarter. These are a 16 quarter. Yeah, I could do it. Oh wait, we're not done yet. Oh no, because this were, this is something that re represents friendship. Read that. Read it. Just read it. It's a porch. Okay. I will go with that. That being said, it is the 300-400 week, so there is no guarantee that I will get all five prompts done. Okay. But I figured out a way of guaranteeing that one gets stitches. I have this fully kitted. It is moments that take our breath away. Start that for a challenge. And then we get to my conundrum piece. I'm going to explain. So I bought this pattern online, PDF, back in February 2022. Back in the beginning of February 2022. I ordered the floss for it because it's just one floss. So I ordered uh, Gentle Arts Variegated. Because it has just one floss. It's literally all done in one color. <clears throat> my problem with this pattern is I bought it from a Russian design company. And we know what happened at the end of February of 2022. And I have not started it because I have very strong feelings about Russia's illegal invasion of Ukraine. Coming from the granddaughter of a woman who fled the not who fled the communist Russians after World War II, and the great-granddaughter of four people who survived World War I in Europe. And that's all I'm going to say about it. Well, However, they already got my money. I already have all the materials for it. So at this point, if I start it and decide to stitch it, no, I'm not going to tell you who it's by. Yes, if you are astute enough, you can figure it out. But I won't give you the information. I'll just stitch it and show it to you. Um, so, those are the options for to start for the challenge. Where you go? Where? There we go. Oh. Do you want me to start stand Paul? Okay. What were we talking about earlier, all this week? Sunflowers! Yes. Aren't these sunflowers? Yes, it is. It's sunflower season. <laughs> Fair enough. Oh, and by the way, just because I am a dork, in case anybody argues your point, I dare you to start this. There's for a challenge. content creator, I can challenge people to start stuff. <laughs> yes, I am also three. I mean, I'm not going to argue with that. And the final prompt is to stitch on a whip of choice and explain how you met one of your stitchy pals. <laughs> Would you like to see the whole choice list or do you already have something in mind? Uh, yes, the whole choice list. Okay, so if it doesn't have a checkbox next to it. So, scissors and bobbins, whip, winter solstice, fall on the farm, cow Who gave you with scissors and bobbins? Victoria. I was completely, um, I'd actually say how you met Victoria. Okay. I thought that would be cute. That would be cute. I think it's cute. I was thinking of specific people that I was hoping that I could link something to. Fair enough. So I have to go pull those out so I can stitch on them. And in case anybody ever wonders whether we plan any of this, as my one friend so elegantly put it, this is how he described Floss Tube. It's a cross-stitch podcast. Mm-hmm. That's basically what it is, and yeah. That's it for the week. I have no announcements. 
Someone put an idea in my brain. Well, okay, so let me rephrase this. I've been kicking around an idea in my brain. Uh, a couple of years ago, two years ago now, it'll be two years ago this year, we went to a stitch-in day that a friend put on. It was basically just come, stitch, for a few hours. She provided lunch. It was kind of a... I don't want to say it was a cheap lunch because it wasn't a cheap lunch. It was really good lunch. She made soup. And we had... So we had soup for lunch because it was like... As I said, friends and food. It was the weekend before Thanksgiving. And she built it as like a pre-holiday stitch-in day. She gave out a couple little things, but mostly it was about sitting around stitching, talking, conversing with friends. There was a small fee to help cover the cost of lunch and the little extras in the room. But that was it. And then somebody suggested something about using the church facilities that we have access to for a cross-stitch retreat. And I thought, well... And I've been thinking about doing a, like a little one-day stitch retreat, stitch-in day, for a while, because after that, that friend moved from Ohio to Colorado for her job. I think it was for her job. We didn't have it last, so there wasn't a little stitch-in day last year. And I really missed it. I don't know, I don't know if it would work, I don't know if it would come together, I don't know if people would show up. Maybe it's something to explore for 2024. Yeah, um, I thought of the question, where was it? Oh yeah, who agrees with me? Who, say, who thinks gathering, friends, food? Who puts that together, please? Am I the only one, or, or does everybody else go, gathering, friends, food? I mean, I do think of food when I think of hey, gathering with people I care about, friends, family. Unless it's on Zoom. <laughs> and even then, half the time we're eating something. Someone's eating something. Mm -hmm. <sighs> I don't know. What do you guys think? That's all we have for the week. Yes, that's all we have for the week. Spiel time. Yes, please. Please like, comment, subscribe, bell notification, thingy me bobby, the whole YouTube thingy thing. Thank you guys for spending a little bit of time with us this week. I apologize. I feel like I was very discombobulated this week. Hopefully I wasn't. I, 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 I'm sorry. I probably... What's funny is most people will probably still think I was hyper, but I feel like a zombie for me. You are hyper today. Actually, that's my problem. I feel like a zombie. I get hyper because I'm not taking control of it. Damn. Uh, the joys of having an ADD brain. You get tired and everybody else thinks you're hyper. Thanks for spending some time with us today. We hope you had a good time. Okay. Mm, excuse me. We will see you all next week. Bye, 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 bye. bye, bye.